Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for being here today. It is July the 26th, I believe, 2022. Wow, this year has flown by. So I just want to come on here real quick. Um, it's been a long time since I've made a live video. Um, and today I'm going to talk about the energies and 3 and 4D. They are separating. They've been separating since about March. And a lot of you who are very sensitive may feel this real big excitement of energy building and just things feel new or new things are coming your way. Hey, Amy, new things kind of coming your way. Uh, and yeah, that's what this energy is all about. So uh, to bring it down into percentage right now, 3D and 4D are already 50% separated. And once we get over that hump into 51%, it's going to be a lot easier. Things are going to be moving a lot faster. Now, for those who very much are in higher vibration, who are very much into that in the fourth dimension and are really working as far as clearing their own field, their own cellular memory, their own cellular body, I should say, out of lower vibrations. If you don't know how to do that, please contact me. Um, I downloaded um, a technique. It's called I Am Agape technique. Easy to use. Anyone can do. It's extremely efficient. Um, and I can teach that to you. But anyways, uh, for those of you that have been writing, you know, really, really, really hard working into the high vibrations of 4D, this is going to feel really wonderful. You've probably already been feeling it the last couple of days. Um, the best thing I can tell you for the rest of this week, stay, lay low, lay low, be quiet, go hibernate, just be in your space. Do the things that you can basically do that are best for you. Stay away from drama, which is easily said when you can see it. Um, However, when you're blindsided by it, that's a little more challenging, but really be diligent as far as, you know, asking, should I, should I answer this knock at the door? Should I answer this phone call? You know, muscle test it, ask those questions. Yesterday I got blindsided by a phone call and holy cow, the person just threw up on me so much dark energy. It was not even funny. And um, so I'm still trying to, you know, get rid of it as they would say. Um, so really be att pay attention to that. Um, so you don't really have to do anything right now. Just really take care of you. Go hibernate, be with you, drink the water, eat good foods. And for a lot of you, again, who are on this, this path, um, you know that when you are not eating the right foods, right? Your body talks to you pretty much immediately or within the next couple hours. You cannot eat lower vibrational foods any longer. Um, you know, if you need to take a nap during the day, don't judge yourself, take a nap. Um, whatever your body feels like it needs to do, just go do it. It's this week is going to be a really great week. But for those who are in a lower 3D vibration, um, it's going to feel interesting. I, I, I would presume it's probably going to feel like part of you is kind of being separated from you. Um, and it's not a right or a wrong. It's just your path. And, you know, you're going to be working your energies up at, and you know, another time in the future there is no uh, you know instruction booklet to this ascension process it's all an individual um individual experience our own christ light is going to be ignited within us we are just basically removing our body of lower vibrational energies so therefore we can embody more light into this body and that's really all the ascension process is is easily said right hard to do especially when we have been programmed with so 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 much lower vibrational programs and the the easiest ones are the ones that you have you got emotional um trigger with those emotional triggers you know those you know oh my gosh i have a uh, program there and those those are the ones that i can easily teach you through the amagape process i'm not charging a whole lot of money because i just really want people to learn it um, but nevertheless, if you've already moved through and cleared out your lower vibrational energies that have been stored in your cellular body, um, then, you know, you're going to like, like, for instance, yesterday when I got blindsided by that drama call, right, I have to go ahead and take responsibility with the fact of I attracted that somehow. And I need to figure out why I attracted it What's basically vibrating inside me that said I needed to hear that or um, that my reaction to it is where I need to yet look into my cellular body to say, oh, that's still there. So as you clear out the top ones, honestly, that's easy. It's the lower ones that really make us who we are. It's the basic vibration of whom we become. Those are a little bit trickier to find. 
And then after those are cleared, then we're going to go down to the fundamental uh, programming of the physical realm. And I'm talking seriously, uh, removing the program of time, removing the program of gravity, removing the program of, you know, limitations. Um, those are really heavy programs, and, but those won't, don't worry. When you're ready for it, we'll, you will be clearing them out. And we'll all be clearing them out as well for the collective. So this is basically for those who are on the spiritual walk, spiritual path of ascension. And so this this week is a really cool, good week. And I've been told by spirit that it was supposed to happen today, but might not be till tomorrow that we are going to move from the separation of three and four D are being are separating now into fifty one percent. So for those of you like, what are you talking about? This has been talked about in so many different books and so many different prophecies and so many different times that the two worlds will uh, will separate and one will go up and thrive and one will continue to go back into its spiraling of low vibration. And um, there was a beautiful, I saw someone on TikTok and if anybody wants me to share it, just to say share and I'll try to go and share it below, but I might have to send it to you personally in Messenger. But she really had gave a very good ex explanation of the fiber Nietzsche spiral versus the spiral of a crystal. And the spiral of crystal actually expands out further than the fiber of an Ichi spiral. But they stay together until a certain point and then they start separating. So we are at that point. We are at that point of literally starting to see that separation and feeling that separation. So what does that mean for us, right? For us that have been working on this path of keeping our vibrations high, um, it's going to be easier, guys. Yeah, we're still going to do the work, of course, but you're going to feel more supported. You're going to feel more energy coming through you. You're going to see the world with different eyes. You're going to stop thinking and speaking through your head. Instead, you're going to start feeling through your heart and speaking through your heart. So it's it's uh, going to be fun. So I just want to come on here real quick and just share those little things. Hi, Amy. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Jacqueline. Good to see you all. Um, Sandra and Jacqueline, actually, you both are in Australia. I don't. You probably don't know each other like that. And Sandra Jacqueline is on the patches as well. Uh, maybe if you guys are near each other, you guys can get together and talk. But anyways, that's all I want to do is come on here and share that with you. I'm going through it, so I figured probably everybody else is going through it. And I don't like to share when I'm going through it. But I've been told that's the time I do need to share because chances are you're going through it too. And you're wondering what the heck is this about? So again, avoid all drama. Just take care of you. You know, shackle down into your own little hibernation space and just feed yourself love. Feed yourself good food, good water, good everything. I love you guys, and I'll talk with you there. Bye-bye.